The earth is vast and abundant in resources, but globally our consumption of these resources has been increasing steadily, while at the same time our available resources have been decreasing. As we live in our cities and suburbs, it's easy to forget that we are completely dependent on these resources for our survival. In our homes, our energy comes from light switches and power outlets. Our water comes from the tap. Our food comes from supermarkets and fast food restaurants. Our household furnishings and decorations come from big box stores, and our clothing and other accessories come from shopping malls. The area you take up on the earth is much bigger than the house you live in. The land needed to provide for all your needs and process your wastes is called your ecological footprint. To find the footprint for a city, country, or the whole world, you can multiply the number of people by their average footprint size. Our increased consumption, coupled with a decline in resources, means that our global footprint has been getting larger. Overshoot is what happens when we use natural resources faster than they can be regenerated. The world first went into overshoot in 1987, and now, just 20 years later, we have an overshoot of 30%. That means we would need an extra third of a planet to support our current population at our current consumption levels. On October 6th of 2007, we celebrated Ecological Debt Day, the day we used up all the resources the Earth produced that year. Every day after that, we were in ecological debt, borrowing resources from the Earth's built-up capital. And this can't go on forever. That capital will run out. And every year this holiday comes earlier. The challenges we face are Herculean, but if we all work together with a shared vision of sustainability, we can solve these problems. So what can you do? You don't have to carry the weight of the whole world on your shoulders. Do what you can. No list of ideas could ever possibly be complete, but here are some to get you started. First, Start with yourself. What can you do in your everyday life? Every time you do something or buy something, stop and consider the consequences. Next, after you get started with yourself, increase your circle of influence. Tell your friends and family about the changes you're making. Then branch out to your workplace, the businesses you frequent, and your community planners. Keep expanding your circle of influence from your local to regional and national governments. Finally, Imagine. Brainstorm. Come up with new ideas. If you have a great idea, develop it. If you can't develop it yourself, share it with those who can. Making smart choices now will avoid more disastrous consequences later. Your children will thank you for it.